the favourites to make history by winning the World Cup. Scotland, history makers already taking their first steps in the finals. Welcome to Manchester Sun Rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an unbelievable journey and when I got that that call to say that I was in the squad, I, f I felt like that was the start of another journey. It was my first major tournament and I, I was just raring to go. I was so excited and it was it was getting on the plane where the butterflies really kicked in and you felt part of the team and I was just happy that people could come and see and it was nice to see fans all over, little boys, little girls, families, like we attracted all kind of different fans and we hope that we give them an experience that wants to make them come back and support the women's game again. After the World Cup in Canada, we kind of wanted to be part of that atmosphere, like women's football is on like an upward trajectory and just wanted to be involved and we saw it was in Nice and we thought that's not too far away <laughs> like, and then we kind of pitched it as it would be our family holiday with them um, a couple of days of watching football. <laughs> never been to a major tournament before so I was excited we was allowed obviously a downtime and they said be sensible uh, there's fans out there and you, you dress in your own clothes um, and you still you still got recognized out of your kit which surprised me quite a bit we were talking about where the lionesses were staying we walk a bit further down and see the team bus go past the team bus and then over the balcony is the key to Paris to which both of us are a bit like hang on what <laughs> On the next block, I think, yeah. we see uh, Abby's, Abby's running, running, crossing the road. So we don't cross So we're like, <laughs> hi, good luck, because <laughs> we like, <laughs> run past. <laughs> Me, Keats, Tony, we, we wanted to go and have a, a, a look around, a little mooch, and, and we did that, and it, it was nice to see like the fan zones, and everyone was so nice, polite, wanted pictures, which is, which is fine, like, they've, they've travelled a long way, it's, that, a picture's nothing, like, if that makes their trip to Nice worth it, then it's, it's worth it for us. Everyone was so nice and like took the time out to take pictures and have a chat with us, which, yeah, made our day, really. We woke up, we had breakfast, went to pre-match, got on the bus, and it was unbelievable going to the game, seeing all the fans outside the stadium when you pulled up. Even with like the police escorts and things like that, all that to me is quite new. We are actually at a major tournament, like, we've got security and things like that and it is it's exciting it's not it's not frightening it's not something that scares you it's it's all excitement you're all ready to go you're raring to go you're just wanting the time to pass we got on the shuttle buses that are running from like the fan hub and they just drop everybody off at the stadium and then you're just greeted with that massive stadium yeah a really nice stadium in nice i was confident in england i think like winning the she believes like we're in a really really good position expectations were high uh, everyone was like really riled up and ready. Obviously with the first game being Scotland it's always going to be a big one, like rivals from, from back home you'd say, but even looking at my teammates who, who was on the pitch at the time and looking across the bench I was like we've got this, we've got this, like you can just feel it, like the atmosphere, it was, it was roaring and it was just, it was honestly incredible. Anglo-Scottish rivalry has seared the souls of so many for so long as we stand for the anthems in the Stade de Nice in the south of France. I always remember singing my first ever national anthem when I got picked for one of the La Manga tournaments when I was in a younger age group, but the one at the Scotland Young, I'll never forget that, like the goosebumps down the back of your spine and things, and people say it's just cliche, but it did, it got you, it got you excited for the game, and it, it was a great, great occasion, it's something that I'll always remember. The decision is penalty for England, and Nikita Paris will be given the responsibility of taking it. <laughs> I've been a bit nervous. I think everybody's a bit nervous on penalties as well. Paris for England against the Alexander of Scotland for the opening goal. It's absolutely crucial. I knew 100% it was going to go in the back of the net. The amount of practice that she put in, not only at England but at club, like she's a goal scorer, a goal scorer at the end of the day. And, I had every confidence and I, to be fair, I don't even know if I looked or watched or anything, but I just knew as soon as the crowd roared, I was like, it's interesting. Taken with unerring accuracy, England lead with a VAR given penalty. I've probably just yeah, put my arm 
come round here and just jumping. Some, yeah, <laughs> jumping and shouting. I think, yeah, probably. I think so. A lot of yeah. Yeah, I think that was probably the celebration. <laughs> we all knew like she's gonna bag, she's gonna bag, because it's the aim of her game really. And it was just out of the out of the blue, and it was like four musketeers, and it just it just all happened like that. And it was it was nice to be honest. It was nice to even though you are on the bench, you're you're a little bit deflated, you're a little bit gutted like it's a natural feeling to have but then things like that you're thinking yeah I'm part of this I'm part of this though and it, it was nice looks like a shoulder looks like she lands awkwardly on a sh on that and Millie Bright is not a player to go down I very rarely see her go down she's such a, a tough Yorkshire girl when that happened to Millie I was ready I was I'd already pe prepped it in my head that I could be going on because if you don't and you're not ready, you're going to go on and make massive mistakes and you can't afford to do that in a major tournament. In the US game, uh, USA and she believes, uh, Abby played in the defence there and you can see there that uh, Phil Level was trying to build up maybe different partnerships in case of thing or in different eventualities in the game, whether he needed Abby in or he needed Millie in or even Leah to come in as well. I was nervous, don't get me wrong, um, but it was more excitement. I was, I was glad that Millie's injury wasn't like severe. Once you step over that white line, it's it's a game of football. That's what you live live and die for. Like football for me, it's crazy. But I don't, I still don't see it as work. It's it's been my hobby since I was a seven year old little girl, and it's been something that I love, and I still love it, even though it is now my full time job. I was at the World Cup. I, my mum and dad was in the crowd. That's like what I dreamt of as a little girl. So it was kind of like you're in the moment. Don't mess it up. And thankfully, I didn't. <laughs> It was class. <laughs> I don't think we could have, I mean, if we just sat down and written out like our perfect World Cup experience, I'd, <laughs> yeah, I think it would have been almost what it was really, or like even better in real life, yeah. It was nice just to ring my dad after the game when I was in my room and just say, Dad, how do you think I did? And we had the chat like we would any other game and he said that I did all right when I came on and, and the team looked like they was ready for the tournament. So I was, I was confident that we was ready and I was happy with with how we played, and it was it was one of them. It was like a a whirlwind of a day, and then it was finally over. So you do then have to come off a come down, but it is just like even now thinking back, like it's a year ago. Like it feels like it was only yesterday. Now we're here in my back garden filming about something that happened a year ago. It's it's crazy. Oh mate, this is. This is just a quick message to say thank you very much for your support. I hope you're all staying safe and well back home. Um, got you a little present, just a little token to say thank you very much for your support and we hope to see you all soon at the next game. That's class. That's, sick. That's so sick. Oh my oh God. My God. <laughs> Cheers. Mate, oh, you've got the right shirt on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, mate, we have to get that framed. That's awesome. Just put your set to Yeah, <laughs> right. That's sick. I don't know, can't say anything else. Yeah, wait, no, wait, 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 what do I say? I have to put it up in the living room. There you go. Oh, we could put sick. it in the spare room. Or the TV. Yeah.